Okay, welcome back everybody and uh, anybody that's new here. If you're thinking about doing it, just do it. Hit the like button, subscribe. We're just going to cut that out of the way right now. If you do like these videos, don't forget to do that. But I'm going to do this in the truck real quick here before I get walking out there. Um, I'm going to be walking out after one special fish today. Um, and this morning had a whole slew of things that definitely shouldn't have worked out. Um, just comment below. Have you ever had one of those mornings where every single thing that can go wrong does? That's that's today. So hopefully where I'm at, because I've never really fished here in the wintertime, has some very fun, big, round saucery fish. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you can comment below. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> That's a nice one. I've got to talk very quietly. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm only in like three feet of water here, four feet of water. Well, five feet, but it's only three feet around me. Well, there's the first saucer of the day. Not very big, but I'll take it. not expecting that. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so I can measure these with my rod. Guesstimate. So, start. Eight. Nine. Probably ten and a quarter. Well, there's the first big one. And of course I got it on the bullwhip. This guy's going back. Well, I'd say that's worth the headache this morning. <laughs> it was like 10 and a quarter easy. Um, I know I've explained it before, but I have markings on my bullwhip. So, eight, nine, 
and that's why that first one's colored like that. <laughs> that's a 10. So, yay. Let's get some more. Seem to be a pile of them right on this little break. These guys are all built. The last one was a female, this is a male. Now I'm having fun, just frozen hands. <laughs> but it's a good thing. These are some serious fish. There's another one down there. Six hours later. <laughs> Barely hooked. That took way too long. Another bull whip very verified ten. So eight, nine, ten. Starting there. <laughs> this girl back real quick. I think it's time to go. All right, everybody, uh, back in the truck. I had uh, a couple of people start getting close to me and uh, I'm a big proponent of if I'm catching giant fish, it's time to leave. As you guys seen, I got those two 10 plus inch bluegills. They were both females. I got one, uh, I think that was like a nine inch, nine and a quarter inch male bull and uh yeah got a couple of decent ones and i got that crappie this morning so not bad for only the second time ever fishing that area on the ice uh, i did get a little intel to let me know that i could get out there uh the ice has been questionable everywhere i don't know when you guys are going to see this um but yeah i went fishing in a shallow area because i knew that the ice would still be okay um i think there's like four to six inches or something like that so still good still good to walk on but not bad for the <laughs> only the second time yeah that's only the second time i was uh, chasing bluegills this year and uh two tens i'll take it thumbs up for big monster bluegills uh hopefully we can duplicate that some more this season and uh yeah i'm jack hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys next time